My name's Ian Eberhard, I'm the Executive Manager of Corporate Services at Uniting Country SA based in Port Pirie. We work out of uh, 10 different regional communities, um, 250 staff um, that work across those regions and involved in that uh, are some 70 fleet vehicles that um, we would uh, travel and on average do well in excess of a million kilometres a year um, in, the, in those vehicles attending um, client visits um, and other service calls as well as uh, supporting our staff in those regional offices so we do an enormous amount of travelling um, which is not only a, a risk um, to our, our staff um, being on the roads but it's a very expensive exercise to maintain the, the vehicles and keep them on the roads uh, and costly in terms of staff time travelling. We have a set up like this in most of our offices um, so we can implement a video conferencing um, system throughout the organisation. We're able to um, just link in and set up meetings and just join those meetings so we can have one-on-ones, you know, sort of a team leader meeting with a whole group in different sites um, so they can meet their whole team at once. We've joined um, people in from different sites which is really great to get that input from other sites but you know if we were to do that prior to video conferencing it's a, um, a very uh, time consuming and expensive exercise to, to bring someone from you know two three hours away in for a you know an hour or a two hour meeting so it's, we've rolled out training videos and uh, various other tools that people can use to access and learn how to use, utilise the video conferencing. Moving forward, we're going to roll out um, and train, specifically train champions in each office so that they're the go-to people that, um, you know, will sort of prick people's conscience. Oh, why don't you do that on video sort of thing? And broadband is, and bandwidth has been a, an issue throughout regional areas uh, for some time, but with the uh, rollout of the NBN, um, that is improving throughout most offices. Our primary driver was, was around um, the uh, savings that uh, potentially we would make out of that both um, from a uh, dollar point of view but from an efficiency um, point of view and um, some side benefits of that were really the, the benefits to the uh, environment by reducing our carbon footprint by you know, reducing our kilometres using that technology that's available. So any dollar we can save in overheads of uh, running those programs go directly into services um, to provide to clients, which is uh, what we're here for and what we, what we do.